Okay, so I purchased um, this for real pets. This is Biscuit um, from 2007. Uh, it's it, it's a it's a life size um, golden retriever puppy, a fairly large puppy. Uh, six bucks. I, I I figured I'd take a chance to see whether or not he works. I uh, I can see why somebody might have donated this dog. Getting at the battery compartment is is a thing. The the first screw wasn't so bad, but this second one that well that that. that the ac access port to the battery compartment is just way too small. Um, this is the second screw. is is just absolutely awful. It it looks like the previous owner had a hard time getting it open too, because it looks like that the the screw has just been stripped, and it's just and I've I've actually had to use a um, well it, accessing accessing this one in was actually kind of tough because it's it's buried pretty deep and it I actually had to use like a really narrow kind of partial precision tip but it had to be a larger one and yeah anyway it's it, the score is just turning in a, in, a, in spot and it's not releasing the damn battery compartment and I can't just pull it off because it's it's actually wedged in there in a with a tab to, to secure it in place and it's this dog is proving to be a bit more troublesome than it's worth. And somebody, let me see if I can get, somebody put C batteries in here at one point. And the, I actually had to check because there was nothing on the dog to actually tell you. There is, there, there's nothing on the battery compartment. There's nothing on, even on the instructions to show you how to put the batteries in to tell you what size batteries go in the dog. So I actually had to go to the Hasbro website and look up the instructions for this dog because thankfully the actual item number is listed on the tag and it it actually it I was just literally able to look look up the instructions and it takes D batteries and somebody put C's in it. So yeah. Let's see if this dog actually even works. If I can get the battery compartment door off. <laughs> um, well, I I kind of opened up a little bit to get in here. Yeah, he's, oh, 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 he's actually lying down. I'm not sure he can get back up, though. Up. <laughs> Biscuit, up. out a bit. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> well, he's kind of working. Um, his legs... His legs aren't great. Um, here, I'm going to turn him off. His legs aren't great, uh, partially because he's so heavy. Um, this dog was made in 2007, and it, it, holding this dog in line at the thrift store actually was was a thing. This this dog is really really heavy. He's steel and and copper and wire and, and plastic and all these servos and motors and things to make him do all of the things that he does. Um, it it uh it he he's really heavy and honestly he was. It was probably owned by a family with children, and I had a Robo Raptor um, that I that was given to me brand new as a present, and his legs eventually broke. 
and I'm a fully grown adult who has like a full dinosaur wandering around the house. Um, so I can only imagine what children did to this, this, this poor doggy. So his legs don't work particularly well. He didn't work at first either. Um, but I, I kind of opened, I opened him up because I know through, um, having Furbies and looking at ways to fix Furbies, uh, that, uh, Sometimes the, the sensors can get gummed up and not cause the toy to work particularly well. So he, so he, uh, so I kind of like, I stuck my hands inside of him to, to kind of, kind of brush off the sensors because thankfully the instructions also tell you where all the sensors are located. So I basically, I kind of stuck my hand inside and, and I moved up the neck a bit to, to, to the sensors in his cheeks. Um, and tried to work some stuff out on his back. I did actually pull uh, quite a bit of loose fluff out from inside of him because Furbies, if, if you get some of the fluff in the sensors, will will stop functioning. Um, and I've got a couple of Furbies that don't function at this point, so I'm I'm probably going to clip some of their fur and, and do the same thing. Um, so once I actually did that, Biscuit was working. Um, <laughs> Uh, it took a little bit to get the, the batteries to focus, the batteries to function um, properly. But yeah, he's he's moving a bit. I'm I'm trying to. His his front legs are mostly what's sort of distorted. Um, they they've kind of bent inward. Um, that might be because of the weight of the dog. It might be because, like I said, of kids. But I I'm not entirely sure. But it 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 doesn't entirely matter. I mean, you know, fifteen dollars for a pack of batteries. Um, and six dollars uh, for the dog himself. I'm actually kind of ha I'm pretty happy with my purchase. He he works. I didn't really want him to lie down, but <laughs> especially since I wasn't sure he would be getting back up again. But yep, I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna sew my pupper closed. Um, uh, potentially take the batteries out. I don't know. I think maybe I'll leave the batteries in just a little bit longer, but then I'll I'll take them out so they don't do anything on the inside of them. So yes. Another another happy little thrift store purchase here for a dog that was, I'm not entirely certain what he retailed for originally. My guess is it's probably over a hundred dollars. So, you know, fifteen plus six, a little over twenty bucks. Which, even looking on eBay, I I saw that used used pupper ver used uh, biscuits um, were selling for forty dollars. So you know what, it. I, I didn't think a whole lot into him, so I'm happy. I have, I have, I have a robo puppy.